Hey everybody, welcome back. This is my quick review for the September box of Comic Bento. So I hope you like it, let me know what you think. So I'm not gonna bore you with what Comic Bento is. Basically it's just a subscription service where you pay, let's just say 25 bucks a month. Um, they should be a bunch of random stuff you probably never pick up. <clears throat> I grabbed it because uh, I'm relatively new to comics and so I don't know anything, I'm, I'm blank canvas. So the thought was, well, yeah, let's see some stuff that I would normally not pick out. Let's see if I like it. And if I do, it could just kind of open some doors to some things I haven't read. So in no particular order, this is what I got in the box. Executive Assistant Iris, and this is Aspen. <clears throat> Highlander. Exo Manowar, Valiant. Superman, Batman, DC, and then Daredevil Season 1 by Marvel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it down by top choices. I'll start with the worst and work to the best. Um, I think that's the most fair. So, complete waste of time. I actually made it like halfway through this thing. This is trash. It's by Dynamite. I never watched the movie, so someone out there probably thinks I'm crazy, but I, this thing is just a waste. Don't even waste your time with that. Batman Superman. Um, it wasn't bad. The art was okay. Um, the story... Um, should I spoil it? Just jump ahead five seconds. Um, the story was basically one of those, like, none of this is real, which always drives me crazy. So, um, wasn't a bad story. Not something I'd normally pick up. Uh, I think you can get this on Amazon for, like, five bucks. So, it wasn't like it was super expensive, but Batman Superman was okay. Exo Man of War. It was actually cool. I enjoyed this. It's not something I'll pick up and keep reading, but I really enjoy Ninjak. I think that was a good introduction to both the characters. Um, the story to me just was kind of like, okay, I think you can get this. It's a Valiant book. You can get it for a decent price. Um, the art was okay. The story was okay. Um, definitely was something cool that I wish. I'm glad it was in the box, but it's not something I'm going to continue reading. Completely shocked that I like this. Now, hold on. Like I know Aspen, Like there's a couple... Um, art pieces in there that are a little bit um, risque, I guess is the word. Uh, so I did not enjoy that part. Not condoning that part. I'm not a big fan of that style of art or those types of um, scenes or pictures. So it's basically about this girl who was born as <clears throat> born as an assassin and other skills like secretary work, things like that. And then as she's going around throughout the story, she's running into people she grew up with in this school. So it was really cool. It was interesting enough that I actually ordered the second volume. I got it for like, I think literally $4 shipped. So I want to check this out. This is the pleasant surprise. Definitely like that one. I don't know if this is the winner of the group, but it's definitely in the top two with the executive assistant Iris. I don't know anything about Daredevil. I've wanted to know something about Daredevil. So the season one label that you see on there, before they did Marvel Now and they relaunched stuff and all that, season one, it's kind of something they did to like reintroduce characters and tell their origin stories. So I don't know anything, but my guess is this would be like the first couple issues or series of Daredevil kind of condensed into one. It's a hardcover, um, good quality, really cool read, really kind of teaches you about the character. Um, it's pretty thin, but I did like it. Overall, I'm not, let me be clear, I'm not getting a penny for this. There's no like code in the bottom. I'm not, more power to you. If you're one of those people, great, get free stuff. I don't care. But this is just my honest review of this service. It's 25 bucks. Um, I would I canceled mine, okay, but I would do it again. But they release them later. Like if you wait, uh, you can get them for 20, I think it's like $30. So you pay an extra five dollars and um, they'll ship it to you like two months later. Uh, and you can actually know what's in the, the lot at that point. So my recommendation would be that because if you get a month where it's like kind of screwy, um, you don't want it. So I would recommend Comic Bento um, if it's something you're just looking for new random stuff. But like I said, Highlander was literally trash. Like, I I couldn't have thrown that thing faster. Um, it was just bad. Uh, but the rest of them, I, I get it. I, they're cool, they're interesting, um, not necessarily expensive. You're still paying less than you would pay if you tried to pick them all up individually. But not like a ton less. Not enough where it's like good to be surprised. So... Um, if you're one of those subscri subscription box people, you're going to like it no matter what I say. So go ahead, buy it. Uh, if you're one of those people, it's like you have to know. You can just wait like two months later and they'll put them up for 25 bucks. 
you got to pay an extra five bucks, but at least you know what you're getting. Or you can just go on Amazon and pick out the ones that seem interesting. Uh, so that was my quick review of the Comic Vento service. Again, um, I, I would recommend checking it out if it's something you're, that you're interested in. Uh, but understand you get what you get. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Got to go watch the Cubs and Pirates. They're playing in the wild card game. I'm going for the Cubbies. Sorry, Bucks. I know, but um, I, back to the future, right? Betting on the Cubbies. Have a good one.